The Grand Conceptor Award is being presented to American Company for the Hydrothermal Processing Pilot System Project. Genifuel Corporation obtained the license from Pacific Northwest National Laboratory for its technology to transform a mixture of 20% algae and 80% water into bio-crude oil and natural gas. The laboratory had proven their technology at a lab scale, and Genifuel was seeking to scale the system up to a pilot plant scale to process one wet ton per day of the feed. To assist in the scale-up and commissioning, Genifuel chose American Company to provide lump-sum turnkey services that included engineering, cost estimating, procurement, fabrication and assembly oversight, and commissioning. The project is a, uh, it's HPPS, which stands for Hydrothermal Pilot uh, Processing Pilot Plant. And it's a, it is a pilot plant that uses a Pacific Northwest National Lab technology that converts a, weight, uh, a wet organic waste material, such as algae in this case, to actually fuel, and in our case it converts it to, we can either convert it to uh, a crude oil that can be sent to a refinery, or a natural gas. Uh, it does this with high pressures and temperatures, 3000 PSI and 650 degrees Fahrenheit. So Merrick had full responsibility for the project in terms of uh, designing it, fabricating it, starting it up, and uh, it was made in skids that could be then put into shipping containers and shipped over to Reliance, which is, uh, has a huge refinery, the largest in the world, in India. And they will take the crude oil that it produces and make fuel for your car. The scale of the pilot system was significantly larger than the lab scale demonstration. As a first-of-its-kind application, Merrick designed skids and specified a combination of standard vendor equipment and custom-designed equipment. It's important for the engineer to be involved in the early development stages of new technology projects. And in this case, the Genofuel HPPS project, we, uh, we were able to optimize the process design and also accelerate the readiness of the project before it was even released. And then we were able to work with the client to establish uh, project objectives such as cost, schedule, and design before we moved into the detailed engineering and fabrication phases. For instance, we were able to identify with a certain level of confidence the use of many off-the-shelf parts uh, that are readily available and eliminate the need for custom equipment. So this was able to, we were able to save cost and schedule to do this, and really we set up a, a basis for the project that got us on the right track when we moved into engineering. Merrick's use of 3D modeling ensured that the fully equipped skids would fit into standard shipping containers that can be easily shipped around the world. What people need to, the public needs to understand about the hydrothermal process, it is uh, truly revolutionary. It's unlike any other process. What makes it unique is it's highly efficient, uh, converting 85% of the feedstock to, to fuel. It's also a wet process, so it doesn't waste energy drying the feedstock. Now, in our case, the feedstock was algae, but virtually any organic wet waste material could be converted to a renewable fuel in terms of, uh, in the form of crude oil or natural gas. In the simplest terms, this is an innovation that takes something as common as algae and converts it to fuel for your car. We like to say that, you know, we no longer have to wait millions of years for Mother Nature to convert fossils to fuel. We can do this in a matter of hours, uh, converting renewable feedstocks that would otherwise, otherwise be waste. And what the public should also know is, is that, um, you know, this can has a very positive impact on society. There's the Energy Independence Security Act of 2007 that has established, uh, it's otherwise known as RFS2. This directly supports that. That's established that 36 billion gallons of petroleum-based fuel will be replaced with renewable fuels by the year 2022, so just short ways off. So this def uh, definitely supports that and uh, we believe it has a huge impact on society.